save Lakshmana's life. Rama was overjoyed. The next day, Rama and Ravana faced each other. The battle between the two greatest warriors on earth was long and fierce. returned to Ayodhya and were crowned king and queen of Kosala.
symbolizing the triumph of good over evil. If you have any, if you have time, if you have any question, otherwise we'll move on. <laughs> well, I have a question. Yeah. No, no, I, I, I mean, I'm the producer. Had, uh, the design, I guess. No, I did not design. So I went and uh, contacted a few puppeteers and puppet makers in London, mm -hmm. saying that I have a story, I'd like to make a show. So then Jilly Robick, as you saw on, in the credits, she is uh, she's now probably 76 years old, but five years ago, she actually grew up in India for the first 10 years. So she's very much familiar with the Ramayana. So where she had given up on puppeteering and puppet, the world of puppetry, because it's the Ramayana, she said, I want to work. So she designed all the puppets. And of course, we work together as in, you know, you, you discuss uh, the look and feel and the, the expression that you want on a particular puppet because that stays, right? So for example, as you can see, Ravna is meant, Lakshman is meant to be a little bit angry, right? Easy to provoke. So you can see that he's a little bit, he has that angry, kind of easy to provoke expression. And Rama is meant to be gentle, he has that calm demeanor. So again, when you look at Ravan, he's such a popular uh, puppet, as a puppet, Everybody, when you see physically Ravana, I mean, he's so captivating. People are always drawn to him. Hanuman obviously looks very cheerful, and so yeah, so, so that's how it evolved. Yeah, yeah thank you. Do that for other stories as well, puppet moments. As of now, I th as you can see, there are only six puppets, right? So the story is much longer than this. But because at the time it's self-produced, thanks to my husband who's funded all of this, and then I had a sponsor who came in in 2019 who helped me with all the props and we did lots of shows in London. So yes, I, I do plan to add more puppets and make it into an hour long, you know, do the complete story to the extent, it's a long, I mean, if you want to depict the Ramayana, it can go into hours. So I have to cut it at some point. So it should be an hour long. So we want to introduce the Golden Deer, Kumbhkaran, Manthara, Kaikeyi, just to make it more illustrative with puppets. So I am, in fact, now looking to see if I could do some of my work in India so that it becomes like I have a base in India and in London and we produce all the puppets and make the show longer. So that's my project for the future. Yes, I just wanted to ask you, why don't you work with our Chennai chapter? Which chapter, sorry? Chennai chapter. Chennai chapter, okay. So there's a lot of puppets there. Okay. There we catch a the puppet tradition has mostly come from Maharashtra and spread over okay. all of India. Okay. And maybe you can design a much better puppet show with them. Okay. And uh, I had two comments. Yeah. Because Ram did not fire any Brahmastra. Okay. okay. Only thing his arrow directed at his navel. Yeah. Which contained the power. The, the power. Okay. But he there is there are. Okay, yeah, yeah that is the point that I wanted to make. Yeah. And the second point was what Ramayana symbolizes, this uh, Ram Raja symbolizes, that everybody was very happy, he was mm. fed. It is not just because he returned, because yeah, he yeah. was so good yeah. that everybody had his tummy full. Mm. Yeah. So that is the main reason why Ramayana is so popular yes. in the country. Yes. Because there's nobody unhappy in his Ram time. Raj, yes. But the way it is uh, communicated, because if I wanted to convey it as a story from India, 
and with the end point of Diwali. So what is the end point? So even if you look at all the speeches across the world, they always talk about the triumph of good over evil, which is the return of Rama yeah, and Sita. That's it, so that's where I am ending. Yeah. You see, my grandchildren also live in Coulter's Green. Oh, okay. So okay. this story at one of the Diwali times, we happened to be there. Yeah, so yeah. they had also called me in the school right. to give the message. Mm. They made message that we need to give to the world. Yeah. Why this is celebrated is not just because it's a show of the lambs. Yeah. It is because it signified every there was abundance of everything and everybody was happy with yes. it. Yes. Yes. So that, that is uh, that is a message uh, that you get from Ramayana. Justice yeah. was there for everybody. Yeah. But what happens, Gupta ji, is basically given <coughs> The, if my audience is somebody who is not familiar with Rama, like you and I, most of us here are, we are to a large extent well versed with the Rama, right? So we think about it beyond what is obvious because we know the, de we are looking into the details of what Rama signifies, of Ra what Rama signifies. But for a, somebody who is a non-starter, somebody who doesn't know, like most people who worked on this show never knew of the Rama. So I introduced them to the story. But with the view of conveying it as a Diwali story, we, I, I want to personally keep the narrative extremely simple so that anybody, they are not daunted. It's like Greek mythology. The names itself are so long, by the time you get to know the name, you are forgotten the story. You get exhausted. We don't realize it, but for somebody who doesn't know the Ramayana, the each, each kai kai, they wouldn't know how, is it kikai, kikai, kukai, whatever. They said so many different ways to say kai kai. So to get them to even familiarize with the names is a task. We don't realize it. No, no, the so, thing, uh, which I noticed, we call it Rama. It's Rama. It's not Rama. Rama, yeah. It's not Lakshmana, it's Lakshmana. In, in South, we call Lakshmana. Like, I come from Hyderabad. Yeah. We, we always say Rama. Lakshmana, Shatra. We in, the, in in South we always add the A. I mean, I we we, we never we would we would never refer to Lakshman as. In fact, because I'm here, I'm saying Lakshman. But if I was in the South, I would have said Lakshmana, Rama. Yeah, because, uh, That's how we say it. First started ruling from the presidency of Madras. Their role was there, so they have distorted our names. Achha, I, uh, they have distorted our time. We need to get back to our original ones. Achha. I mean, uh, that is uh, possibly I wouldn't know, but all I know from my background, we always call Lakshmana. It's like every part of India is such a big country. Every I'm Telugu. One of the ancient languages. See, most of us in Tamil, there's no word Lakshmana. Really? If you speak in the original Tamil. We call Ravana, we call yeah, Lakshmana, yeah, we call Shatra. No, in South, sorry, I, I'm not trying to be argumentative at all. I respect what you're saying. But I know that I, by calling Ravan, Ravana, that is how we call in, in South. We call Ravana, we call Lakshmana, we call Shatrugna. There's always an A. That's how South is. I mean, India is a continent, so every region has its own way of conveying the same story. Like Diwali, the, uh, the I, festival I, is celebrated differently yeah, in South accept, compared to... Accept diversity. No, no, it is... Uh, I, I agree with you. I mean, Madras have... Okay. okay. Yeah. 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 Prepare for the next... Okay, okay. <laughs> Jansab, thank you very much. My pleasure. Wonderful. Thank you for your time. Uh, make my little grandson see it. So oh. I hope it's going to be on the YouTube. It's on YouTube. It's on okay. my channel. Thank you very much. And I thank you for your time. Thank you, Gupta ji. Thank you. Oh. Oh, thank you. <laughs> very pretty. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, all of you. Thank you for your time.